Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Gotham Racing 4. Today is episode number 12. I had to, I had to think what it was called then. Um, so we are going to be continuing on the, the last championship that we were doing. We got halfway through that. Um, it is a master level championship, and we are driving this Mercedes CLK AMG GTR. I think that's what it's called. If it's not, I'm sorry. Uh, so we got to get through 13 checkpoints to earn maximum position kudos. Alright, slow down for this corner here. There's our first checkpoint. Perfect. Nice corner there. 620, 687 kudos now. Ooh, that corner's not nice. Checkpoint. There we go. I've not driven this track before, I don't think. this variation of this track. Checkpoint number four. Alright, slow down for this corner. We've got ten more checkpoints left to go. Great corner, yes. We've got 45 seconds left on the timer. Nine more checkpoints. Very nice. Ooh. Ah, we crashed. Uh, that was good. I can see that happening as well. Right, eight more checkpoints. We can do this. Seven more. There we go. Six more checkpoints. There's another terrible corner there. That was horrible. Why was there a jump there on a corner? Right, five more left to go. Three corner there, nice. This counts as a checkpoint, doesn't it? Yes. There we go, keep it straight. The fact that that's beeping already doesn't reassure me. Checkpoints to get. Oh, that was heavy break in there. Right, careful for this corner. This corner was a terrible corner. There we go.
And there's the 14th checkpoint. We are first place. Right, let's see how many extra checkpoints we can get. Do you know one thing we haven't checked is the interior of this car. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's as bad as I thought. At least there is a viewing angle out the front in this car, unlike the Ferrari we drove in the last episode. There was no viewing angle. You could not see out the front of the car. Come on, come on. Let's get this checkpoint. 16. We got it. Could, if we're quick enough, even get another checkpoint. This will be the last checkpoint, though, that we'll get. There we go. 17 checkpoints. That is the last checkpoint. Actually, we could get one more. We could get one more. Wow. 18. I didn't even think we would be able to get that. We're not getting this next one, guaranteed. We could have gotten it if we hadn't have crashed. First place. 18,000 kudos. That was a very good, very good race. Adding that on to our 49,000 we got in the last episode. We are looking at 67,000 kudos in total. And we've got two more races left to do of this championship, and then we'll move on to the next one. Uh, so we've got a cone sprint. These are very good. But this one is not very good because it's on the tiny tracks. Done. My phone's going off. I can't read my messages. Oh dear. There we go. Nicely done for the first lap. Got way quicker on that straight there. in action as well. Yes, lovely. Let's get those corners perfected. And that is that event done. Only 963 kudos, but we also get the 15,000 for coming first, so I'm not going to complain too much. These kudos are all going towards like some amazing car. Hopefully, actually, if we do this championship and the next one, we should be able to afford the Capro, which is overpowered as hell. Uh, saving content, let's go to the final stage. Uh, 
Uh, so we are doing superstar. That is interesting. I'm not gonna like this. Actually, to be fair, we haven't done too bad on Superstar so far. And to be fair, we've gotten the hang of the handbrake drifting, thanks to a couple of comments from... What is it? Is it Nick Jeffrey? I think it is. Yeah, he mentioned about using the handbrake and sort of using it in the corners. So, yeah. Definitely able to do those time versus kudos a little bit easier now. Those kudos stars. We only have one lap though. Quick spin back round. Right, uh, let's do this one. Oh, we tap the wall. I didn't want to do that. This is very narrow, so it's very difficult. This car is wide and long at the same time. It's very stable. Like that, that corner, wide. Kudos. We're going to do terrible on this superstar. Ah, this is horrible. It's so narrow. I don't like it. That was much better. Trying our best. I think once you cross the finish line, though, it finishes it, doesn't it? Finished, yeah. We came fourth. 9,250. Now, I would be really annoyed at that, but because we've won all of the other events, I think it should be okay. Yeah, we are miles ahead. Look at that. 70,000 in second, and then the next one is 92,000. Plenty of room for error. Right, let's finish that championship. And we'll move on to the next one. We've won the Baltic Masters. And we are 19th now. 642 points. How far ahead are they? Pretty far ahead still. Uh, we've got 149,000 kudos. We're going on to a Invitational. Ooh. Oh, the Icy Skid Pan one. We're going back to that. Yeah, because in the last episode, we accidentally skipped one. Uh, Michelin Test Track. Let's give this a try. Right, there's 34 cones. Put under control. 59 cones. Ooh. 
80 cones. There we go. We did it this time. Um. Um. I think the game's a little bit broken. The car won't stop spinning. <laughs> I mean, it's a good way to show off. Not very practical, though. And we won the Concept M, which is... Wait, that's a Lamborghini Miura Concept? That's not the actual Miura. Ooh, interesting. Uh, right, so we're on to the European Masters, which is a four-stage event by the looks of it. Is this all in the snow? I don't like the look of it being all in the snow. It's B class as well. Right, so let's take our Lamborghini Murcielago, because that always goes really well. And we'll see how this event goes. It is in the snow. And I don't like the snow. Yeah. Let's try and keep this under control as much as possible. There we go, we did all right there. Right, slow down, get around this corner. It's a nice first place there so far. Right, come on, final speed camera. That went horribly wrong. First place though, still, which is fairly decent. Fifteen thousand kudos. European Masters, stage one of four. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Skip. Let's move on to the next stage, which is a Eliminator. Stay out of last place. Shouldn't be too hard. Four, three, two, one, go. That's the Ferrari Enzo there. Let's get past. There we go. Around that corner. Just 
track's a nice track. It's just... It's not very friendly. And it requires a lot of getting used to. Because of the fact that the corners are very blind. They are all blind corners, pretty much. Oof. We just lost all those kudos. There was at least 600 there. Nicely done. Also getting a couple of little cheeky drifts in there as well. thousand one hundred and fifty let's bank those two thousand nine hundred seventy nine kudos max three thousand crap still in first place lucky whoa that was lucky first Place 18,000 kudos. On to our next event, which is a lap of the Nürburgring. We're actually doing two laps of the Nürburgring next. So we're going to do one, and then the final race is going to be another lap. Also in the snow again. All right, let's go on to the next stage. Timed run. And that is a timed run of the entire lap. 6.56 to beat. Hopefully, this car is a lot more controllable than that Ferrari that we drove. But not on our side at the moment is the fact that we are also driving on snow. Get some kudos. Wouldn't hurt. And we are seven seconds ahead already, so yeah, it really wouldn't hurt to grab, to grab a couple. Okay, yeah, that hurt. Because we didn't earn any that way. Handbrake drifts, nice. 358 kudos. Oh, 124 kudos there, six seconds ahead, whilst also clowning around, so I will take that. Look at those kudos flying in. To be fair, that was the only way I could probably take that corner after going in at that speed. 
So the fact that we got kudos out of that as well is just a little extra bonus. The game thinks we were stylish. In theory, we just lost control of the car. Four hundred and eighteen kudos. I want to try and earn as many as possible just because I want to get that Capro T1. Because the Capro T1 is so overpowered in this game. It is so quick. Like genuinely it is my favourite car to drive. I'm hoping it doesn't max out now. It doesn't. Oh, we lost grip. Oh, no. Right, I think we're going to have to concentrate on driving now. I've just been trying to get kudos. That's all I've been doing. But, yeah, we're going to have to focus on driving, make sure we get to the next checkpoint ahead. And if we're behind, we're going to have to drive to the next checkpoint. That wasn't even using the handbrake that time, that just drifted on its own. Are we ahead? Just about. I'm going to play it safe for the next sector. Plus, I think it's probably going to max out at 4,000 anyways. Right, let's see this top speed then. There we go, nicely done. That's going to max it out. 4,000, yep. Here is the famous banked turn. We can't forget this. Oh! That was a bad crash. Mr. Mechanic CG is ahead of the pack, just about, after crashing into every single wall possible. Keep it maintained. Yes, nice. Go slow down for this corner. Second to last corner, let's go around it. A little bit of a bank on that corner, actually. I didn't realise there was two bank corners in this. That's interesting. And then onto the final straight where we would normally go super fast, but we're not. Because we're across the line. That is very good, though. First place for that. 18,000 kudos again.
Uh, that takes our total up to just over 50,000. Yes, 51,000 kudos total. That is very decent. Right, on to the final stage, which is a street race. Two laps of the Nordschleife. I think that's how you say it, Nordschleife. The Nürburgring. The Nordschleife Nürburgring. Which is the track without the GP circuit. You've then got the something else, which is the bit with the GP circuit. And the whole track. And then there's also the GP circuit. The Nürburgring is a big track, yes. About 12 miles, I think. Seventh place, sixth place. Bike be gone. Oh, he put his finger up at me. Jesus, okay. No, 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 no. Don't crash, please. Save those kudos quick. Thank you. Great corner plus a star bonus. Right, you're in first place. Woohoo! Ah, not very good. Great corners there. The interior of the Lamborghini just isn't very cosy in this game. It really isn't a cosy car. Now I'm hoping there's no kudos limit, or the limit is extended to like 10,000. Because of the fact that we are doing two long laps. Because if our max is 4,000 I'll be a little bit upset. Hundred and fifteen kudos. Nice. Three thousand kudos in total, and that's just partly through one lap. Crash again. There are cars behind still. They're not going to let me go that easily. There we go, some nice corners there. Twenty-three kudos in total at the moment. This race is going to take us about 13 minutes. So we have another 10 minutes to go at least. And that's the wall. Nine seconds behind, though. I like that. Right, we're coming up to the famous banked corner now.
Oh, come on. It was going so well. Right, here we go. Banked corner is the next one. Let's see if we can drift on the bank. No, we've got total grip because there's no snow on it. That didn't go well at all. Not planned. Oh, the max is increased. That is good. I'm hoping it's 10,000, because if it's 5,000, it would be really annoying. Getting those handbrake drifts going on. Trying to earn as many points as possible. Oh, it's higher than 5,000. That's good. That is very good. Imagine superstars on this. Just trying to get loads of kudo stars on this in one lap. You can get hundreds. The max is 6,000. Game, I was complimenting you and you've just gone and like said, nah. Right, on to lap two then. I'm expecting the race final to be bigger than the race total. Why is it this car looks really narrow from the front, but from the rear it looks huge? Like the Aventador doesn't do that. It looks big from the front and then looks tiny from the back. Right, it looks fairly big. But this Murcielago, it just defies physics. Like look how narrow that looks and then look how wide that looks. Pretty big comparison. Comparison different. I can't speak today. Crash and a half. And the cars are catching up. Let's try and actually drive properly. Nice corner there. Perfect. There we go. Nicely done, that hair pick corner. down for these.
very close to that wall there. Very nice. Why? I don't know why the Nurburgring looks so different in this game. In other games it looks really sort of trapped. But this looks so open and amazing. I don't understand it. It's so weird. We're coming up to the banked corner. I didn't see the corner there. Right, it's a famous banked corner over here. I've actually watched a documentary entirely on this corner. There's like a whole story behind it. It's weird. It's like a five minute documentary just on that corner. It's weird. I'll try and find it and see if I can link it in the description. If I can't, if it's not down there, then I couldn't find it. Right, so I think we've got about a minute left of this race, which isn't too long. I can see the finish line. Here we go, nearly there. Second to last corner. A little bit of a bank turn, 23 seconds ahead. Final corner and back onto the main straight. And that is the end of that. Let's see how much we earned. 21,000 kudos for that. We add that onto our totals. Very nice paycheck. 72,000 we're going to have once it's all added up. 72,143. With an extra 40 points onto our world tour. So we're going to see whereabouts we are. And then we're also going to go and see if we can buy the Capro T1 yet. Hopefully we can. Congratulations, you won the European Masters. Nice. Uh, so we are 17th, we've got 682 points, and if we look at the top, how far we've got to get, 1,048, so still the same place we were before. Uh, PGR Shop, we can buy 
a street legal Capro T1 now. Let's get it. Purchase the pack. We now own the Capro T1 and look at that car. Look at that. So that is going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Oh,